and welcome back, everybody. Let's see what just happened. I think I got some money. Um. Yeah, that's right. I was trying to buy everybody some beds. I think I'm just gonna order pizza tonight. Kit should be pleased with that. I almost forgot my bet is like three thousand dollars. Then just all the expensive table. Oh hey, look at that! Your wife is home. No, that's Kana. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, your wife is still at work. Good thing those two are. Working on my friendship quite nicely. Can't. Oh. Dude. Come on. Just wants to talk to you, man. Come on, you're his future daughter in law. Whew. Stocks. The most interesting thing in the Sims. For some reason. Okay. Then. Hey, don't judge me. Doing the best I can, guys. Mostly because these people are canonically speaking. Rich and slightly. Just slightly assholeish. Go on over there and compliment him. Go give your husband some compliments. Oh. Go ahead and give him a back rub too while you're at it. He needs it. Wow, dude, you're like a dick today. No idea what came over you. Yeah. Why don't you go order on up some pizza and you go over here? Say for school or something. I wonder why everybody is just sitting around. They had money left over. You do mostly just talk and stuff. God, dude. I can 
tell you were rather. So at least that's enough to buy you a bed. God, I can't. Value? That kind of sucks that they devalued, guys. No big deal, though. It's not like if I've not dealt with worse. Once again, I'm not sure exactly where that's going to go, but... Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, ba dum ba dum bum, ba dum Wow, I don't even have enough money to afford a door right now. Clean up your mess, you dirty, dirty man. <sighs> you see, this is her. I know, you're not going to study. You're going to read a book for fun. And then your husband's going to fall asleep. So I've cleaning up this mess. So now he's gonna go answer a phone. Hopefully get enough money to afford. A door and perhaps a bed for your daughter as well, if possible. Fifty, dude. I have enough for both of their beds. That's actually a really good thing. Cause that means that now, as soon as I get one more phone call, I'll be able to. My family not like half their lives totally suck. Oh, why do you do so like? Of course, his lazy ass would fall asleep. I like how both of them are like. <sighs> yes, buy on a door. Now, as soon as I put these guys to bed... Wow, guys, it'll have been almost two episodes just to manage to get these guys to get you to flippin' bed. Oh, and also, of course, this stuff in the front goes away. But you know what that means. I'm gonna deal with that in the daylight as far as what I'm going to have everybody do. You, my good sir, I'm going to be forced to wait outside for a little bit. Just go on in there. Your wife is going to go sh ship in the toilet and she's going to go to sleep. Your child So your other children are also going to go wait around. God, your family is disgusting. And you two, keep each other up, please. Cannot afford anybody else falling asleep in here. Everybody is going to miss a day of whatever. I'm 
me, asshole. Take your gosh darn shower. I want to get you guys. I want to get you somewhat clean before I swim. Of course, then you're. Of course you do that. Of course you flipping do. Not yet. You. Go poop. And go to bed. You just wake your fat ass up. Wow. Who would have ever guessed that the rich family is the one that's pain in the ass? No, yes, you go on that side of the bed, you idiot. Oh, I almost forgot. You can't because you don't like her. This is um, fixable, I guess. I do have money after all. I can always fix it. This is fine. I have the money to fix my problems. Good. So you take your sleepy time. Now that the worst of it is over, I think. I see why you really need two bathrooms in The Sims. There's no real reason to only have one. No, you know what? Fudge this. You're going to work either way. And you're going to school. You know, one miserable day isn't gonna kill you. I'm pretty sure that it gives me a warning if, like, my kids are being rather unceremoniously taken care of and yeah, see, everybody should get a day's warning. Like, oh, hey, don't do it again. No, kid. Get to school, get to school, get to school. Get to school! Clean up that puddle and then. What I'm gonna start doing now though. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna start up on the next bathroom next. And after all, once I get all of the bathrooms ready. Run like you've never run before, dude. But you're hungry. And get out to that phone and take care of it. You can't tell. I'm not a fan of yours right now because you fell asleep. And I don't like people who fall asleep. Ever. 
Doesn't matter what you're doing, you just can't fall asleep in my house. Okay. Perfect. Do I have enough money now for that new bathtub? Or am I gonna have to buy something else? In wait still. I think I just need to buy something pointless and kind of cheap. Well, not really kind of cheap, but you know what I mean, like, needlessly pointless. Oh, and then, you can buy on up it. Table, aha! See, whether or not it seems it, it is actually a relatively tough thing to do. Does this just require a lot? I mean a lot of micromanaging that you probably never thought of before. Get out there, dude. Fast! Whew. That was close. Okay, at least I get two. Do the next bathtub. Because I really do need to have... My bathroom. All ready. I need six... I know, two... Twelve hundred again. Next toilet. Luckily, it's not that hard to... You recycle that. Yeah, your wife's not gonna get... Oh, perfect. You came back. You can go take your shower and then- Ah! I finally have somebody else to go answer the phone! Well, I also have somebody to recycle that newspaper. Of course, two... hundred dollars. It's not much, but it is something, right guys? It's not like if I'm... Rather disappointed. And then I need you to buy up another pizza because I like being able to eat. Oh, perfect. You can go on in here. You can go take on up a quick little. Toilet and bath. Oh, don't greet child. I don't believe you know him yet. Cool though. Did you know what that means now? Falling off that bed for like nothing. I love how these beds are worth like nothing. And the game just expects you to be able to do something like. No oh, hate. Ash will have fun. <laughs> You go greet, and then... Let me see you. After your bath, I'm gonna say, come on out here. You greet, and then I'm gonna have you come on back here. Not oh, perfect. No, it's you go answer that phone and you go get that pizza. Mm, 
No. Oh. I didn't have enough. I did. I didn't have enough dough at the time, guys. Which means we're gonna have to. Wait, you know what? I have a little bit of money. I'm just gonna do this. Might not be the most elegant solution, but screw it, I'm just gonna buy on a bay. Fridge, dishwasher, and no, I'm not because I don't have enough cooking points on anybody to reasonably not burn down the house. Feel my suffering as I must show through. At least now I have two toilets in the house. Which is surprisingly a very nice thing. Oh no, now I won't even have another sink yet, but because I need to get six hundred dollars for freaking shower first. Ugh. Of course, buying on in two pink flamingos. You go take your silly bath. And then you... Oh great, I can't order a pizza for you. And you go on over there. And I see you. <sighs> come on out here. And you also come out here. You two, I really need you two to be friendly with each other. For me, please. No, answer that phone. Hey, Quickly! Oh gosh. Whoever said The Sims isn't stressful is on crack. Very quickly, I'm just going to be buying in Cheapo and Cheapo McGee just to do some have a quick dinner or whatever they call it. I really don't care at this point what they call it officially just because I've been drained, guys. It really is a stressful thing trying to do this really because of the fact that you don't know what's going to happen next. Don't know who's going to try calling you and then it's going to fail somehow. And then you go have a quick dinner. You should be able to cook a quick dinner, right dude? What is he about you? Services? have money for them. You know what, that's fine. You do a quick dinner. Oh, then I forgot to go. You to bed. No. Run to the phone! You have a quick dinner. 
How hungry are my kiddos? I think they'll make it through the night at the very least. Hopefully. Because in the morning, I can... Hallelujah. Gonna let you buy your food first. Those kids are bad kids. Can you believe how bad they were, guys? That's totally why I sent them to bed without food, right? Isn't just because I'm a terrible parent and probably shouldn't be allowed to do this, but yeah, yeah, it's totally because they were being naughty. And naughty kids don't get food. Oh, I really do sound terrible. That's totally the reason why, though, isn't it? it? Has nothing to do with the fact that I'm broke ass. Poor and refuse to do anything about it. Yes, put that in there. And then, how much is my torch? I know the inside of the house is not that much, but. 250. Gonna let you eat. Hey, wake up. Eat your food. Eat your slop. But no, don't bother cleaning it up. Just go to bed. It's been a rough day for all of the family, and. Well. Hopefully, tomorrow won't be as bad. Dad's gonna try to serve on up some dinner, or in this case, breakfast. Who is up? Why are you up? Oh god, why are you up? No. Have a snack. Yeah, why don't you just have a snack? Then why don't you make your bed? You know, clean up around the house. For dear old Poppy. You know, it... It helps. A lot whenever you... Help around the house. Please don't make it hard on everybody else. That was really weird. She just all of a sudden changed into her pajamas. I don't know if anybody else saw that or not. Just like... I don't know, is that normal? I really don't know. Then you can go on to your guys' bathroom and take a leak into bath. I'm gonna have you clean up both of those. Wow. Oh, perfect. The dad's about to finish. If you can't tell, though. The dad really doesn't have any. Feel right to be cooking, but hey. He's trying his hardest to keep the family alive. Know what I mean? He is at least trying. Unlike his wife. She doesn't really do anything for the family outside just sit there and be lazy. She's 
see this family has a lot of rifts that have been forming that are truly not bridgeable. So 220 is all that I need to get. Surprisingly cheap. Excitingly cheap. Gonna have you go take a tinkle. Gonna have you up by cleaning up around the house, please. I'm gonna have you clean up that, and then I'm gonna have you go on in here and do your daily rituals. While your wife lazes around, wasting her life away. At least that's how he feels about it. He's not particularly thrilled with his wife often. For you see, their lifestyles do clash quite a lot, sadly. <laughs> Woohoo! Case Sim. You know what this means, guys? Food! Processor! Now their cooking isn't going to be the worst ever. That's going to be the second worst ever. And also, we need a fire alarm, finally. Yay. Now, next thing is next is a bookcase, I'm going to say. Unequivocally a bookcase. Like, undeniably speak. <sighs> and this is where I'll end off the episode, guys. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.